Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another unboxing and quick review of an item from Kickstarter. It's the Regiat Gimbal from Dobot. So there's two boxes inside, one is the gimbal and one is the accessory spec. They've given me the mini tripod, the action camera frame, batteries, the charger, counterweight ring, and the lightning to micro USB cable. So up here we've got the charger, and these are the screws for the action frame. We've got two batteries the micro USB to lightning cable the action frame itself the counterweight and lastly the mini tripod I just realized that I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to use the one that I just received. And this is the Rejet Gimbal. Let's unbox it. There you have it, that's the gimbal. Let's put the manual aside. In the small box on top of the gimbal is a travel case. If I'm not mistaken, this was a stretch goal that we achieved. Inside, there's a wrist strap and also a micro USB to USB charging cable. The gimbal has a very solid metal feel to it, like it can take a couple beatings. Okay, so there's a physical limit to how much this gimbal can turn sideways. I'm going to unscrew the bottom half and try to insert the battery and power it on. Right, now the gimbal is powered on. It's balancing well so far. The joystick controls are pretty okay as well, it's quite responsive. After this we'll do some test footage on the iPhone. So now I'm in the Regiat app and it connects to the gimbal via Bluetooth. Is it connected? Okay. Okay. I think I accidentally pressed something. Uh, this must be the panorama feature. The camera at the back is pretty responsive in the app. However, it's not the same for the front facing camera. Look, it's stuck. For the controls in front, we've got the joystick and also the recording button. On the left hand side, we've got the micro USB charging port. On the right hand side, we've got two poorly labeled buttons. I can't even remember what they do. They lock the yaw and pitch or something like that. So the phone clamp isn't really the easiest or fastest way to get your phone on and off. But I guess once it's on, 
it's pretty secure. And don't try this one-handed or else this will happen. Yep, I dropped my new gimbal. But it's all good, it's all good. So the bag obviously fits the rejet perfectly and also there's some padding included. Let's have a look at the wrist strap. Yeah, I don't think I want to have this thing hanging from my wrist like that. It's probably great to wear anyway in case it falls off your hand. So this is the included cable and this cable has gone through a lot of controversies. There's a lot of comments online saying that the cables have broken apart or torn or something like that and it's not really made of good quality material. It is really thin and it feels like it can break off any time. I guess there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna show you some sample footage I took with the gimbal. So I'm now in the Rejet app and when I look through to my recordings, I get this shit. What is this? This is the panorama photo that was taken by accident. I've taken three videos and for some reason, I can't play back any of them. I can listen to the audio for some reason. But I can't view the video back. There's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna try recording the videos again. Let's start with something simple. I'm gonna move forward and backwards. It's definitely working as a gimbal and it reduces a lot of the shakiness but I feel like something's not right at the... It's like there's an extra shake towards the end. And the reason I know this is because I used to own an Osmo Plus. I know it's not a fair comparison but comparing the videos together, I can see there's a slight difference. Just to compare the prices between the popular smartphone gimbals, the Rejet stands at $159 and that is the backer's price. It's gonna retail at $259. For double the price, at $299 you can get the DJI Osmo Mobile or go all the way down the scale and get the Zhiyun Smooth Q for $139. So my conclusion from my quick review is that it works, it definitely works, but I need a lot more time to play around with it. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos with the Rigiet.